Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley with In Broadcast. Joining me is Elisabetta of Cartoni. Hello. Hello, Ashley. Very good to see you. So can you tell me, what is Cartoni's current position right now in the media and broadcasting industry? Oh, we are uh, working very hard to keep pace with the new technologies that are exploding. Uh, first, uh, we have to say that we are happy that finally the business is back after a strange year last year. But um, now we have new exciting products to show in this uh, wonderful NAB, which finally has uh, back the, the amount of people that we were expecting to see. So um, uh, we are working on several uh, types of uh, business. Uh, so we have uh, our new line of HP pedestals that you will see here behind me. Uh, these are um, the update of our current um, uh, line of pedestals, but with an increased uh, sliding movement for a super silent and super soft and smooth um, two-stage elevation. And why would something like that be important? Because uh, noise is always an issue and uh, imprecision in the lift is always an issue. So the more you can give smoothness to the movement, the better. So uh, it is, you know, small increase in a, in, in, in a um, normal type of work, but it is still important. So that uh, is one thing. The other was uh, the exciting uh, new product of the Lift to Twin. Uh, which uh, is the evolution of the lifter, which is an elevating column motorized for PDZs. Uh, this will give you an amazing height of uh, like uh, four meters high uh, to go above head. And uh, now we integrate the movement of the lifter uh, with the electronics of the um, uh, major um, PDZs. So you integrate with a Panasonic control, with Canon, with um, the um, uh, short toys with, with the um, uh, Sony's and uh, virtually now uh, all the PTZs can be worked uh, and accept the software of our elevation unit and uh, that is uh, reasonably priced so it will be accessible also for people doing uh, work which is not you know in super budget studios but like in smaller studios, newsrooms, uh, house of worships, uh, conference room, educational. So we think that we have a big future in there. Absolutely. Um, and is there anything else that you're currently highlighting or any other latest developments you wanted to touch yeah. on? Yeah, we have our uh, you know, major uh, concern and research, which is absorbing all of the financial means and a lot of the engineering forces, which is the encoding of the heads. We are now uh, presenting a line of uh, 11 supports that have encoders uh, incorporated in it. The encoders are uh, super precise optical encoders, absolute, 4 million counts per turn, so with a, which a precision which is above what is needed. But we have noticed that giving an extreme precision will enhance other uh, colleagues' uh, um, performances in the tracking. This will be useful especially in uh, visual effects, in virtual reality. And uh, we have a big challenge there, but uh, we are offering an entire line of supports which give you and track the angular movements. Very good. And uh, there's already so much new, but can you speak any bit about what we could expect in the near future? Well, still working on the virtual a lot, um, trying to uh, perform um, always better uh, supports, which would be more stable, uh, lighter, more handy to use. We have like a very uh, nice little accessory that we're presenting here at NAB, which is the rail uh, clamp. It is like uh, a support, it's like a, a hi-hat that you can clamp on any rail, scaffolding or uh, rail bar and uh, put your camera without having the legs in the middle. That's so, very cool too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a small thing, it's not expensive, but, it's, but it, it helps you a lot when you're, when you're working. Love that. So there's always so much excitement over here at this booth and always a pleasure speaking with you. For those that want to know more, please check out their website. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ashley.